All right, I've got an update for those of you who uh, enjoyed my, my Inspire 2 video about uh, putting the DJI FPV unit on the Inspire 2. There's an easier way, and I'm going to show you. Check it out. I know a lot of people were excited about uh, being shown how to get all the way into an Inspire 2 and, um, and run power from the main battery so that you could uh, put, put the DJI FPV unit on your Inspire 2, which is great, but of course that's a very daunting proposition for a lot of people. Um, so I figured out maybe a lot of you have already figured this out too, that there was a much, much simpler way of doing it. The DJI Air unit runs on straight up 4S battery power. Um, so mine, I use a BT 2.0 connector. Uh, let me see if I can get this to focus. I use a BT 2.0 connector and I have now connected that BT 2.0 connector to a an XT30 connector and now I've just got a very small very lightweight 4S battery on there and my batteries all have velcro anyway because I, uh, I, I use that to stabilize them on my FPVs and so I put some velcro right here and for the moment I'm just slapping a zip tie on there and um, all this is is nicely just kind of hanging down out of the way um, and it really works well I actually I used it on Top Gear America um, towards the end of the season I finally figured this out and started using it um, yeah so just zip tie that battery on run these connectors and you're all cool if you haven't seen my original video about these parts um, this is an adjustable FPV camera mount and the air unit um, adapter. These are also, this is just zip tied on, these are just zip tied on, this fits perfectly right here. And then um, these just, this just sits here nicely, it's not in the way of anything, it's not, it's not blocking any sensors, and I can tell you it works great. Um, so if you haven't anyway, if you if you haven't seen the video about all of this, here's the link. I'm gonna put the link in the video for you, and um, links to uh, anything else that's relevant here. I will put in the description. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, this is by far the easiest way to go FPV with your Inspire. Uh, now the next thing we need is to figure out picture in picture, because when you're going FPV and you have a camera operator running the camera. It's, it's great how you can fly the Inspire with FPV. It actually really lets you do some cool kind of closer proximity flying. But what you're missing is you can't see what the camera operator is, is getting. So if any of you out there have an, have an idea about how we might be able to get a picture in picture into the DJI FPV goggles, let me know. Let's uh, figure that out. Cool. Please like and subscribe. Take care.